Hello everyone! I'm happy to welcome you on my channel where we talk about jewelry, gemstones and precious metals. If this topic is interesting for you, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button as I'm going to show you many interesting and beautiful jewelry pieces and gems from all over the world. Without further ado, let me show you my current gold collection, mainly comprised of yellow and rose gold. So let's start with a very famous piece. Actually, I'm showing this Cartier piece not because it's Cartier and it's the most uh, precious or valuable in my collection, but because it's the first piece I've had. And from this piece, my gold collection has been started. So as you can see, this is just a clue, rose gold, small size. I'm wearing this on different fingers. This is my favorite. Actually, this was a gift, which remains to be very precious for me. But as I also mentioned, this ring has started my love to the gold jewelry. So I'll keep placing my jewelry, which I mentioned in this box. By the way, this is the Stackers uh, box. Later on, I can show you the whole compartments I have for jewelry, but let's go step by step. Another jewelry piece I have is this gold, rose gold uh, bracelet, which is a uh, 14 carats gold. I absolutely love this bracelet for everyday wear. It's just amazing. With this bracelet, I bought this ring. It's also very simple, very minimalistic for those who love geometry. Just a perfect fit. I pair this bracelet and ring mm, very often with just this minimalistic stud earrings they're very simple but sometimes that's what you need and also i have this small hoops which is also rose gold sometimes i will pair this together next let's go with the ring which is 21 karat gold this is just small balls and this ring is also I'm wearing, mainly I'm wearing on this finger. But it depends again, depends how I will combine my jewelry. I can put it also here and here, since the three fingers are almost same size. Also my favorite, this one I bought in Kuwait. Next um, ring I have for everyday wear is this classic already, I think, croissant ring. I'm wearing it on the this finger and it looks quite well if I'm pairing this even with a Cartier ring this trick goes together quite well in my opinion write in comments what do you think about this pair again I think this simple jewelry gold jewelry can be mix and match with anything you like you cannot go wrong with it Okay, also I want to mention this small stud earrings like hearts. I cannot say I wear it very often, but since it's in my collection, I still keep it here. So these are just simple stud earrings in the shape of hearts. Also, I think it's 14 karat gold. Okay, let's go next with another hoop earrings. This one are my recent addition to collection. These are 18 karat gold. They are very lightweight, even though they are quite chunky on the ears, you can notice them easily. They are not over big. They are not too small comparing to this. You can see them. They are appropriate for anything like love, completely love for this earrings. This is 18 karat gold, if I didn't mention. Then I have also this cuff earring. This is, I guess, from Majuri. I bought it in New York in summer. To be honest, I wanted the cuff earring, but this one is slightly, you can see it on the ear. So, and there are a few times when I almost lost it. So I'm kind of afraid to lose it one day, but still it's my collection. I think it fits well if you wear a tail and your ears are showcased. Another not standard gold item I have, but it's very valuable and it always adds to my outfit is this butterfly pin. 
usually I put it in the in the jacket, especially black jacket. It looks amazing, or even cashmere sweater. You just put it in aside. It's just such a small and tiny detail which puts your outlook on the different level, even though it's so small. I think it's also 14 karat gold. And actually it was just one of the, it, I didn't buy it. It was in one in the shop good, uh, shop goodwill bags, uh, jewelry bags, I guess so, if I don't, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, one more interesting ring I want to show, this chunky ring, this is 21 karat gold. Sorry for my dry hands. It's very yellow ring, it's very chunky ring, but I guess for, especially for black suits or when you want to show your jewelry, this is amazing piece. I think it's around 10 grams. Again, 21 karat gold kind of investment piece. You can regulate here the, the size, so you can fit it on any finger actually, but I love to wear it on this finger or this one. Depends if I'm wearing here the ring, I don't want them to clash together. So I'll put this one here and this one here, or I'll put one here and another chunky ring, let's say silver. I have, I'll show it next time. I'll pair it together. Okay, let's go next. I have also one of the necklaces, which as you can see, I love the fairy tales. Uh, and uh, this is the famous Aladdin lamp from fairy tale. So this is kind of nice piece. I pair it with many necklaces. It's good addition. So I love to wear it from time to time. Another interesting earrings. These earrings are nine karat gold. And I bought those in uh, London, not actually London. It was um, uh, one of the small cities, small towns on the side of the North Sea. I was just went there for a seafood trip and I decided to buy myself these earrings as a good memory. So, actually these earrings, I don't wear them that much, but as a memory and as a souvenir, they add value and as you have understood, maybe I like to bring jewelry as a souvenir from different trips. So if you like to see the jewelry from all over the world, I will show it to you later on in the future videos. And let's see this ring. This ring is the uh, cut diamonds actually. Uh, this is 22 karat gold. As you can see, it's also quite yellow. Uh, this one I bought from uh, India from Trivandrum when I was there on the trip. Um, these are the diamonds, but they're not so sparkly because it has nine cuts only. So, but still cute and for everyday wear, it's quite a good ring. Also, one of the most worn jewelry in my collection. The next ring is the, the star sapphire the blue star sapphire but as i understood this is not the original one this is the either linda sapphire or synthetic which is actually actually the same but as i understood linda star sapphire is like special line which has designed these sapphires synthetically but um, when i was in amsterdam i wanted also to buy some jewelry so i like this ring so much and the seller convinced me that it's original one, that's natural one, but I have very strong doubts about this. You can see the star, later on I can show it to you in the dim light, with the light, so you can see the star, it's so perfect, so it's so, it shows it's not the original one. Meanwhile, this ring is 14 karat gold, still in my collection, and let's see how long it will stay here. And another ring for the gemstone is the tourmaline, tourmaline ring. As you can see, this is also 14 karat gold. This is designed uh, designer ring. Um, I love it. 
I wear it every day. I pair it with a Cartier ring. I pair it with any ring I have and it's a good match because you add one gemstone and then you can pair it with any simple gold jewelry, which is a good fit and I love it. And I like it's so simple design, but still very unique. And a few last pieces I want to show, even though they might be related to the pearls collection, which I will show you later, but I have this gold earrings for the pearls, yellow gold, 14 karat gold, and with these earrings I have this necklace, which is also 14 karat gold, paired for the, uh, with the cultivated pearls, looks absolutely stunning on, this, on the neck. You can combine it with the uh, other gold pendants. Looks amazing. Also, as itself, it looks also good if you wear it alone. And the final piece, I'll show it today, but I have some thoughts about it to sell it because this is 14 karat gold, white gold. You can see it's absolutely amazing piece with the panda. It has uh, different colors of spinel, black diamonds, white diamonds, and the panda itself. But I dropped it so you can see the, sorry for the fingerprints. It has been dropped and I got the crack. So I'm thinking, I don't feel like wearing it after it has been damaged. But even when it was a full unit, I didn't feel like wearing it much because it's more like, um, like a coin style, you know, it's quite big on the neck and you have to have kind of special outfit to match this pendant. As I prefer classic outfits, minimalistic, I think this jewelry doesn't fit that much. So I'm thinking to sell it, resell it. But let's see, I just decided to show it to you since it's still in my collection. I think we will end up this video here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and wish you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye bye.